Okay, collective energy analysis for this week. Uh, this week it's kind of a continuation of the information that came through on Monday about the need to shift in the 5D system for um, those of you guys whose frequency is high enough. So basically they're showing me a preparation phase for a lot of you guys. Um, and what's happening is the higher gateways are really opening and expanding um, and the lower uh, chakras and energy centers are weakening a little bit. So if you haven't yet moved into the 5D system, you need to make sure you're still grounding so you're centered in your body. And what um, is recommended is that you activate the Mercana, which can be done in the space. Um, or if you are guided, you can sit down and ask your angels and guides to activate that for you. Um, we're basically being uh, bombarded with these high frequency energies, activations for the angelic human DNA that also came through on Monday. Um, and all this information is coming through the higher gateways. So if you aren't grounding and you're not allowing this energy through you, uh, it's going to kind of sh short circuit your system. So the energy needs to be allowed to move. Um, for some reason, the spinal clearing is coming through for those of you guys that are advanced enough to do. It's a really high powered session and you need to have cleared most of the field and then you can go in and do these little details that are still held within the body and with the bone structure um, and the DNA. So session work recommended for this week. Um, for the majority of you guys, it's grounding and stabilizing your energy. So through uh, light body activations, make sure these high frequency energies can flow through the body. Okay, that's the biggest thing. And grounding, okay? If you can, you can intend to ground into the 5D system, but from my experience, you're not able to actually make that shift to your frequencies high enough. So the Mercana is highly advised. Uh, to help you stabilize your energy, okay? So you can get to the height, the frequency needed to make that shift. Um, again, Metatron's Cube is always recommended because it helps keep your chakra system open and balanced. It helps you to ground celestial purification, the quantum or the full regular celestial purification DNA repair because this will help to uh, basically cleanse the DNA and leave room, open up space and room for the activations that are incoming, the realignments, the rewriting of the DNA so you can have this uh, advanced DNA activated, okay? Um, and then also the diamond star light body and what this is, is a structure once your frequency is high enough. Um, it structures your energy field with a plasmic energy that feeds the cells of your body and uh, so it helps to stabilize not only the physical body, but the plasmic field and the electric field to make a shift into the 5D system. So this is done right before that shift. So depending on where you're at, uh, those are recommended. Uh, there's, you can do all these sessions, um, but if your frequency is not high enough, you won't be able to shift until you get to that space. But if you're in the academy, you can go ahead and do the Mercana. Um, and then wait at least a couple weeks before doing the Diamond Starlight Body, okay? So if you've already done the Mercana, you know that's active, you know you're ready, your frequency is high enough, then do the Diamond Starlight Body and then we can go from there. Um, yeah, there's a lot of advanced activations happening now. So the more healed you are and the more um, high vibration you, you high vibrational you are the higher your frequency the easier these activations integrate the smoother it is um, the better you feel if there's resistance if there's lower vibrational um, blocks and thoughts emotions feelings thought forms those types of things uh, there will be more resistance in this high frequency energy coming in so you just really need to allow release um, do your meditation, do your healing work, and work on grounding and stabilizing your energy, okay? Because um, when we really shoot up into the ethers with our consciousness, 
if you do that without stabilizing your energy, things can get a little unstable. So make sure you're stabilizing your energy and your frequencies as you're moving through, as well as allowing energies to come in um, and not resisting those, okay? So I hope that was helpful. See you next time.